Hello, I'm Max Spalegde. And I'm <coughs> ill now. What the hell? Sorry. George I'm... Clark, welcome to the useless hotline. TikTok wasn't really working out for us, so we decided to set up our own little bossiness. I've got an Apple Watch. Whoa, business is going good. Yeah, it is. Um, yes, we did. And <laughs> the useless hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, disgusting, or embarrassing they are. But it won't always just be us. Some weeks we'll be joined by a guest. Are we joined by one this week? No. Ooh, no, we're not. No. So click off. Yeah. Bye. Um, how are you, George? Um, basically, my parents named me that when I was younger. I've done that uh, joke before, yeah, yeah, and it's still hilarious. No, it's not. Um, mm. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, the last time that I saw you, we were in New York, baby. Yeah, we were, baby. We've been through a lot yeah, since we, have. Um, we last filmed. We last filmed like two weeks ago, and a mm-hmm. lot has happened. Oh, yeah. So we much. fought physically. We have. Um, we kissed a We've middle. loved physically. Yeah. And um, we cried emotionally. Mm. Mm. No. Um, we went to New York we for did, Pride, geez. New York Pride with Garnier. It was so much fun. It was so gay. It really was. And that is what? Okay. Um, I feel so sick today. You don't look sick, tell. man. Nice. I don't feel it. I mean, I do, but like not in the sick way, like in the mm, sick way. Oh. Um, when are you not ill these days? I know, but it's because I'm a crazy kid. I'm literally crazy. I think it's because in my job now, I travel a lot. So I'm just picking up illnesses left, right, and center. Mm. Even when it's like on the tube, I'm just like constantly around people. Well, you do insist on kissing everybody on the cheek. I do, mean. I do. Not Hello, I'll this. be sitting next to you today yeah. on the tube. Um, a lot of that in when you when you meet like queer people at like these pride events and stuff, everyone goes in for a double kiss, and I don't really know how to. I don't know how to navigate mm. this because I'm not really a mwah, mwah sort of person. I'm more like a it's just me. I'm either like a, yeah, just you. I'm either like a hug if we know each other. Mm. Or even then I sometimes go in for a hug even when I'm just meeting somebody and then sometimes yeah, they can be I a don't bit. Know where to. I don't know where to stand with that. Yeah. Like I, I'm i a hugger, I think. Some people do a handshake. Mm. We and, do a handshake. What? Oh, we do a handshake. Right, we have our own handshake. Brr. That's quite cool. We're really cool. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I <laughs> have you never seen that before? <laughs> we do it like every time that we see each other. Literally after the podcast, whenever we whenever we go back on our separate yeah. trains, we just go, see you next time. We do. It's quite cute. Um Yeah, it's also quite embarrassing, but here we are. Um I've I've not even like clocked when we do it, we don't even like acknowledge that no, it's weird anymore. No. So the other people that must just see us yeah. just that's funny. They definitely think that we're freaks, and they're right. They are. Um, but yeah, my nose is really itchy. Hey, oh, just get that for you. Come on. No, I'm okay. Thank He's you. a good boy. Um, but yeah, I had New York Pride, then London Pride. I'm all pride. I'm wow. not proud anymore. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm no longer proud. I'm currently. I need to blow my nose. I'm so sorry, everybody. Ooh, a little bit of ASMR for everybody here. I don't know if it's the ASMR that people blow that nose. Nice. There you go. Just keep rooting for the boogers. Yeah, got it all out. Thank you. Um, so He's we went to New York. Boogie man. Go on. It was very fun, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Very fun indeed. Indeed. We were in the parade. We were. And we were waving. I said to my friends uh, back at home that it felt like I just this isn't this this joke is going to go s- straight everywhere. Okay, can't wait. It felt like I won the gayest treble ever. <laughs> See. Where I went to uni in Newcastle, a treble is just a drink that has three shots of vodka in it. I'm guessing that this is different. Yeah, it was when a football team wins three trophies. They do like, a, they did like, well, if they win one trophy, they do a parade. Oh, do they? But I've never been to one of those. That's uh, for you uh, footballers out yeah. there. Yeah, um, hey, I've never been invited to one of those. Maybe no, football f- teams invite me next time, please. Well, they don't just get randomers. They don't go all. Oh, I'm not a random. Let's, get, let's get Max from TikTok what? on the on, on the so float. Rude. Why not? Well, it's, like, it's, a, it's just a bus, a team bus. I want to be riding the bus. I'm sure you want to be riding the bus. Oh, those sweaty little boys. Oh, God. Not little. Oh, oh boys. George, Men. it's pride. Please stop. Um, but yeah, what did you think of New York? Um, big, hot, dirty. Um, that's enough about Max. Um, <laughs> sweaty. Um, That's enough about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, we have fun, don't we? Oh, I love us. Carry on. Boxy. That's enough about me. <laughs> Smelly. That's enough about you. 
<laughs> oh god. Um rats everywhere. Yeah. That's enough about you. What are you doing? <laughs> I had a lot of medication before this. I am feeling great. You are. You've got <laughs> mental. I'm not well. Uh, I went to the races on the weekend. Yeah, George, don't tell people that you're racist. What? Oh my god. Do you know this gets if put anything, on the that's internet? more inclusive. Because race is plural. I, I attended many races, man. Yeah, I don't know if that's. Mm, don't know about that one. Anyway, carry on. I went to the races for the first time. Oh. I found forty pounds in my wallet, so it was. If it's not in your bank account, that's free money, baby. What is the races like? Car races. Uh, there was hundred meters, two hundred meters. Uh, <laughs> no, it was horses. Horses. I don't yeah. like horse racing. Clip cloppers. Did you? Call I don't it? like it. I once went to a horse race by accident. How did you accidentally go to a horse? Where race? they did a student horse race night at my uni and i assumed well, did you like attend as one of the horses or something how dare you um and yes uh no i am dawn the apprentice jockey do you know who she is yeah from um x factor i'm not actually her just putting that out there <laughs> no no i know shocking. that's a big fat scary um man. but i went to a student race night thinking that it would be like clips of horse races like pre-recorded and right. we'd like bet on them with like imaginary money or something you thought it'd be there. just like a yeah i just thought it was because it's a Christmas student game. night i was like they're not going to be able to afford actual it's horses. not going to be real money and it's yeah. going to be <laughs> Literally. just, just watch a monopoly. tv program well you thought you were going to go for an episode of goggle box we were just to drink and have a good time really and then i showed up and there were actual horses there and i didn't like it mm. i thought that new york pride was so much fun we went to i mean there were gods so we went with garnier yeah and um they booked us in Two, there were two specific events that they'd like booked us for, like parties. Yeah. And I think that both of them, bless them, I just want to put it out there, the team are literally like one of my favorite teams that I've ever worked with. I personally love them as people and Lovely. I just think that they're amazing. Lovely girls. They had very clearly, I remember looking at Lauren's face when we walked in to the first party. She was like, she did not know what she booked <laughs> us at. I think that she thought it was going to be like a corporate party, like a bit mm. fancy. Um, Cause she was like, "Yeah, girls wear your heels." Less corporate, more corporate. Yeah, it was like a garage <laughs> in Brooklyn, <laughs> and um, it was so sweaty, wasn't it? I was just down in the drinks and getting on with it. I was a in time. a shorts and t-shirt, and I felt overdressed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, it was hilarious. We were all like blue hydrangea. If you don't know, she's a drag queen from RuPaul's Drag Race. Was in full drag, which, mm -hmm. again, if you don't know, I, I mean, I have. The closest I've got to this was dressing up as Sharpay Evans for Jed Thurwell's yeah. birthday party. Name drop. Not to be confused oh. with Byro Evans. <laughs> little pen joke for you. Oh my gosh. Um, and I was sweating <laughs> my tits off. <laughs> I had a wig on my head and it was so hot because mm. I usually... How are, uh, you making, are you making blues drag about you, huh? Shut the fuck up. Shock Max. Horse just... murderer. Shut the what? fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, no, I... <laughs> no, what I'm saying is she must have been boiling. She had a lace front wig on, which is literally like rubber cap over your head. She must have been on fire because I was sweating my tits off and I was basically wearing Sorry, like I, nipple tassels. Just, that was so many words then that I just didn't understand. It felt like you were just unlocking a cheat code in a game. Yeah, so it's Lace okay. front wing, rubber cap both <laughs> head. I was like, what the fuck is going it's on? It's all right. It's, it's too much to explain. But um, yeah, so it was very hot. That was brilliant. <clears throat> and then the Christi we went to see Christina Aguilera. Yeah. And it why was- is this, Why has everyone kept saying X Ina? That's like her nickname. Like, Cross Tina. I don't really get why. Cross yeah. Tina. I think that is why it is, but I don't really get She just get, get very how... angry all the time. Yeah. I don't know why an X symbolized Chris. Cross. Christ. Christ. Ina. Cross. Cross. Chris Cross. Chris Cross. Jesus Christ. Chris Cross Tina. Oh my God. I want to talk about Hot Jesus Cross Christ. Cross Tina. What? I want to talk about Jesus Christ. Okay. Sorry, I am mad. I just opened the door to a Jehovah's Witness. What no, the fuck's no, happening? no, no, no. <laughs> No, so I'm going to moment to speak about our Lord and Saviour. <laughs> I just want to get this off my chest. I'm sorry if this is too serious. Oh, are you talk about pride? I am mad. Yes, I am literally okay. mad. I don't think Jesus attended, did he? No, we didn't. Well, 
Oh, God. At both, so me and you, uh, no, I went to New York Pride, then London Pride. At both Pride events, there were protesters allowed. Doubling I'm down talking, on the Pride. But yeah, literally. I'm talking a full-on segment of them to just hold up signs saying that we're all going to burn in hell. We're all going to die. All these awful things are going to happen to us. I researched sexual assault cases within the Catholic Church. Guess how many confirmed sexual assault cases there are in the USA just in the Catholic Church alone. 6,000 a day. I'm so fucking mad. I don't care. I'm talking about this. 6,000 Catholic... Uh, 6,000 sexual assault cases in the Catholic Church confirmed. That's just in the Catholic Church and in the United States. They are holding up signs, calling us pedophiles, saying that we're trapping children, saying that, like, oh my gosh, just this weekend, a pastor in Tennessee... Let me just check if that's right, because I wrote it down. Pele, a pastor... Pagatelli? No. The, there was a pastor in Texas that just pled guilty to the possession of child explicit videos. And Texas is the same state that is banning drag queens, drag performers, and trying to ban basically trans people from being around children because it's a threat to them. It pisses me off beyond belief that these people are allowed to come to events that are all about positivity and hold up signs, and it's legal for them to do so, saying that we are a threat, saying that we're going to burn in hell when they are literally the only legitimate threat that has been, like, shown and in, like, a big institution. I know you're smart, but it's so... I'm right. I'm so... No, I know. I, I'm I... so mad about this because, like, it's literally... They are an institution that is based on like they're they're allowed to be around children they're allowed to like, be in the home they're a part of people's socialization from birth and because of that they are trusted and therefore because of that they have some of the highest cases of like child exploitation and abuse and stuff like that and they are trying to shift the blame onto people like us who are literally just wanting to have a drink and have a good time and walk in a parade wearing some glitter what's wrong with shagging a man oh it shag away it literally makes me so 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 mad and i i really encourage the people who watch this to just speak to people like maybe your parent i don't know but I, oh my god this weekend especially i've been so mad i was with the cast of heartstopper on the netflix floor in london pride and there were these protesters and i looked at them and i was just like you all look like vile dirty disgusting angry people and you're protesting us and you're saying, I'm going to die and I'm going to burn in hell. Well, guess what? Jesus used to hang around with prostitutes. If he is even real. Let's say that. Okay. It yeah. says, in, it says in the book, it says, <laughs> it says in the Bible in the that Jesus used to hang around with prostitutes. <laughs> if he's going to want to hang around with anybody, he's turning water to wine. He's, he's saying, let's all have a good time. Yeah. If he's going to want to hang around with anybody, it's probably us and not you. Not you at home. Because I know that the people that watch this are nice, lovely people. I just not had to you. get this off my it's chest. Oh, Twats. I had to get that off my chest. I've literally, I'm so mad about it. I woke up this morning and I was just so angry about it. I just couldn't believe it. I, I'm so mad. Well, that's but where yeah. Cross Tina comes from. Yeah, it is. Oh my God. Yeah, because there was even protesters outside the Christie. I can't go. Was there? Yeah, when we got in, there was people. Like, like I saw people like with signs and everything. I'm like, get a fucking life. Like, literally get a life. Oh my God, I'm so mad. Let's change the subject. Make me happy. Make me smile. Ooh. I'm shaking. I'm so angry right now. Would, would, you like oh. a, would you like a drink? No, I can't. I've just had too much medication. I'll go insane again. Do you remember that episode when I like fell asleep nearly? Um, oh, yeah. Good times. Mm. Um, oh, oh, I hate everyone. Right. I don't actually hate everyone. We can, we can play a nice everyone. game if you want. No, we have other stuff to talk about. Um, uh, let's go back to... Sorry. Let's go back to New York. It was fun. Uh, I don't know. A bit too soon. <laughs> <laughs> now we had a good time yeah. and um we did a fun youtube video with you you know what might help <gasps> ask me to open the mindfulness app oh <laughs> no it's my not. apple watch thinks i'm having a breakdown <laughs> your apple watch just literally <laughs> just said it might help if i open the mindfulness app i mean it's not wrong can we do you know what hey apple watch can you help me please <laughs> i'm very stressed out oh my god it's fully sent me Oh my god, it, no, it literally heard everything that I said. Oh, bless. It's trying to help me. <laughs> <laughs> See, Apple Watches, they're great. I mean, um, yeah, thanks Which for Apple us Watch. the sponsor of this episode. No, it's no. not. But Apple if the Apple are Watch, never going to sponsor anybody. I don't There's think no that Apple need to. to. No. Imagine being that level of clouted. Yeah, maybe everybody... Oh my god, guys, listen to this. Maybe we should all 
just start spreading it on the internet that we don't like Apple anymore. Oh God, sorry, I just nearly threw but up. But <laughs> the doctors will come flooding back. Oh, they will. Um, and when we spread that, then maybe the sales will go down and then they'll be like, oh my gosh, we need to sponsor, like, so come here. Mm. But don't show them this clip because otherwise then they won't want to sponsor us. <laughs> We're about to start a revolution. Yeah, we are. Um, Vive la revolution. I do like Apple products, though. Mm. I did. Oh, I don't know if I, I mean, can say that. Crumble's pretty good. Um, what else is good? Oh. Shut up. Um, Apple's by themselves. Do you laces. know Apple? Have you had Apple laces before? No. Like strawberry ones, but Apple Oh, flavors. apples taste better chopped up and refrigerated. Yeah. Literally, cut up an apple and tell me that's not a meal. Well, uh, it's not a meal. I shall do just that. A cut uh, up apple is not a meal. What about with peanut butter? Have you ever had that? Apple and peanut butter? Yeah, but it's not a meal still. No, but it's nice. It's like, it's a dessert. It could be a dessert. Mm, snack, I'd say. Yeah, snack. Snack. Mm, I love a good chopped up apple. I buy, this is really bad. And you don't buy cancel them me for this. Up. I buy the like boxes of the chopped up apples. Grow up. And I appreciate Grow the up. fact. I know that's yeah, so Yeah, but they're dumb. not as good as your own chopped ones. I know, but also... And also freshly chopped is better than just like... Because they'll sprinkle lots of yeah. shiddly shiddlies all yeah. over it. And that's no longer a chopped apple. I know, that's yeah. a, That used to be. Oh, you're right. But it's got a jacket of lies on. Oh my God, speaking about jackets, in the YouTube video that we made, nice I bought... Segue. Um, a segue. Bit too expensive. Yeah. I've always wanted a segue. Sorry, we're doing too many segues right now. I um bought a jacket. If you've not seen George's YouTube video, watch it. It's me and it George. Out. And George gave me a thousand pounds to spend dollars. dollars to spend in Times Square. And it was very good. And I bought a four hundred and fifty dollar Disney jacket. Blew half the budget on a bloody jacket. Oh, it was it's so nice. I've not found a place to wear it yet because I don't want to ruin it. Spend, baby. And I know that I will take it somewhere. Like, for example, so, um, are you going to the party on Thursday? Well, no, you'll take it somewhere, but keep that to the bedroom. Are you going to the party on Thursday? Hmm? Are you going to the party on Thursday? Yeah, but these guys aren't invited. Oh. This will be posted after anyway. Um, yeah. I am. Oh, I was going to wear it there. But then equally, I don't want to drink and ruin it. because I won't just ruin it, it's fine. I will, I will. It's fine. We'll end up going out after it and I will ruin it. No, you'll be fine. Watch me ruin it. Well, oh. Don't say that. Then it sounds pretty bland. Is it hot weather? Hey, hey, Apple Watch. Oh, dear, is it hot Apple weather Watch. on Thursday? It should be a bit warm. Okay, let me see. Let's see. Oh, dear. oh yeah, twenty-two degrees. Maybe wow. I, that, that's like breezy. Maybe I can bring my Apple Watch. I mean, my thingy. <laughs> someone's, someone's got an Apple Watch. <laughs> Wait, sorry, I don't know why I'm showing off so much. They're not even like new, but it's really revolutionized my life. I can see how many steps I've been doing. Nice. And that's about it. How really. many have you been doing? I've been doing like a good amount. I've only hit my circle once. <laughs> I said, keep the stuff in the bedroom, do the bedroom. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh. Tell you what, since Pride, <laughs> <laughs> I've, oh. I've only hit the circle once. <laughs> oh, I'm upset. Um, but yeah, um, sorry, I'm not going to smile because this is a very serious thing. The Have you seen that um, Ekinsu and Davide have broken up? I was really shocked. I didn't it see was, it. No, I can understand why you would be shocked. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. I thought that they were in it for the long haul and they were like a really... Um, you know, legitimate and not legit. Sorry, that's the wrong word. Um, like important couple to society. They, um, I, th I don't think there was anything that arose beforehand that was a sort of red flag to anything. I would have never have seen it coming myself. Even based on personal experience, I don't think that there was anything that stood out that would make me think that number one, that relationship was not real. I would never say or think that. And number two, that it would end. Something, oh, really something, upset. something must have happened. <sighs> well, something must between, have happened between, between them going to a movie premiere last, together, <laughs> between their last <clears throat> paid appearance together and oh. um, their breakup. Something terrible must have happened like, within two days. They went to, um, I believe it was a movie premiere where they 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 looked as if they were in high spirits. But I guess that that's just the pressure, you know, when you're in a, a couple. Uh, like I can only imagine that this is what you know, Harry and Meghan. Um, mm. You know, King Charles and Diana even felt like, you know, when you when you have to put on an image for the public. They often turned up to premieres at Leicester Square. Yes, they did, didn't they? Yeah, they were so famous for that. They would do it all the time. Yeah. Um, and I think it's it's a sad day 
for everybody um, and nobody. I, I can speak on behalf of the UK, the world, um, and most importantly, the Love Island fan base when I say that I and nobody that I know saw this coming. So I know, th I know um, that they've got diehard fans. Have you heard anything from them? I don't know. I think there's been the odd... Um, like pleasant death threat. I think that that's about that's about it. Um, but I'm sure that they're just everybody's grieving this this um, this loss to the world and um, people. Act, um, Sorry, I think oh a God. sheep just entered the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so emotional. Um, people people deal with grief in different ways, and um, I just hope that they I hope that they get back together. I'm saying it. My king and queen, they're the only king and queen that I acknowledge. And I hope that they, I hope that they find their way back to each other. And again, I didn't see this come in. Um, I wasn't, I was, I was very shocked by the information. Um, yeah, God, sorry to, you know, put it on such a down note there. But um, shall we carry on with the podcast? Yeah, I think that okay. would be best. Oh, what did you just say? Oh, wait, I, oh my gosh, the Colleen Ballinger thing. Have you seen that? Yeah. Wild. I did a banging tweet from that. Did you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, 60, what was it? 65k likes. All right, show off. What was it? Well, I mean, it was just saying that she's a fucking idiot. Oh, so. I, so I just said, um, if you, I said, hot take, if you're trying to, <laughs> I said, hot take, if people are uh, allegedly accusing you of grooming, don't create a nursery rhyme about it. Yeah. But that's it's not just the way that I would go. It's weird. Like then there were there were points. I don't know if you've seen the whole thing. There, oh, there were George, points, I've watched the whole thing. There were yeah. points where it looked like she was going to actually then start the that I was in the wrong. I was in there, and then she went. But that's what you'd want me to say. Yeah, and you're like, what? Hang on, what are you doing? Also, the only thing I've groomed are my two Persian cats. That will go down in the history books mm. of one of the as one of the weirdest things <laughs> ever said, just ever. I want to know when she thought, oh, do you know what? I'm going to write a song. I'm going to shut every one of these people's moves and I'm going to sing it's, about it's it. Weird, like doing wordplay on a serious crime. <laughs> so I'm not a mm, file, but I do file my nails. <laughs> and people are like, what are, you, what are you talking about, Colleen? Oh my God. It's like, is, yeah, is I made that kid put his hand in my pants, but. I've also got two cats and I give them a brush every now and again. I what? don't think they were the lyrics. No, I don't think that they were, but um, uh, I am what paraphrasing. Other, what, other, what other crimes could we um, words with? I know I shot that kid, but... Wait, oh, sorry, I was just making up more rhymes. Are we still talking about her? Never mind. Um, Do you, well, yeah, I, was, I don't know, I was just having a good time. Um, the only thing I've murdered is that is all of my crows crows what is she a scarecrow murder of crows that's the, that's the oh group name for crows god see, see you had to make genius. it the most posh that's fucking genius. way of coming up with something um, that's so that's annoying another. and stupid um, um, right wait wait oh my gosh I know let's play a game pretend that I've like come up with a scandal for me and okay. I have to try and write a song about it okay <clears throat> to apologise okay your scandal is that um you have been you've ooh, tweets from the past have arisen of you <laughs> oh I don't know what I want to do actually uh, no a video has surfaced online of you picking up and kicking a little rabbit right okay you've um, just I know you might have heard about my bad habit. I didn't mean to kick that fucking rabbit. I am really if if that if that video is a worry, just know I am really sorry, nice. and I would no longer do that. I actually have a healthy pet cat, nice. and I've never yeah. kicked it. Nice. Your scandal. If you don't believe him, he is my honey. He would never go anywhere near a bunny. Hey. hey? That's your defense video um, of me. Um, right, your scandal is that we've just filmed an episode of the podcast. You walk out into the street mm -hmm. and you punch someone's grandma in the tit. Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> I know you may think I've been under arrest, but I've been nowhere near that grandma's breast. <laughs> she's, <laughs> <laughs> she's way too short. It's sagged down low. It's way too hard to give that a blow. Oh, I've heard that before. Oh, it was quite upsetting. Um, when they caught me, they put me in netting, but oh, right. it was false, tactic. just like her teeth. Oh. <laughs> Bit of a shame she's now under a wreath. Oh, a wreath. Oh, dead. It was quite a punch. Oh <laughs> it's, it's quite a punch. It's quite a problem. Um, oh, I don't know what rhymes with problem. Many um, allegations. Yeah, I do got them, but they are false. They're just not true. Even though I left a tip blue. Oh. <laughs> Can we do this um, again? Right, do another one for me. This is so much fun. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't address any allegations. Yeah, there. it's all right. Neither did Colleen. You're all right. Okay. Don't worry. Um, your allegation is that um, you've got an offshore account, paying no no taxes. All of your money is getting streamed there, and also. Um, you just had really bad Botox. Just to right. throw that on top as well. Um, okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't know much about accountancy. I thought that I'd throw all my cash in the sea. Turns out you're not allowed to do that too. And also my face might look brand new. Nice. The thing is about all of these accusations... Oh, difficult one there. Shit, yeah, I've really got myself. Wow. Um, happening. <laughs> I am gone. <laughs> Saved I, it with a, if not a harder yeah, word. Yeah, I don't know how to brand anything with happening either. Right, okay, scratch that last one. Um, uh, I, uh, I have, I have. Oh, a stutter, apparently. Yeah. Um, I am really sad. I know that you might think what I've done is bad. Nice. I didn't Elementary know level rhyming, that but we'll carry on. I didn't know influencers had to pay taxes. I God, where are we going here? I've also yes, I've also got Oh, I just burp, sorry. Yes, I've also got <laughs> a brand new faces. Oh, I can't do it. I was trying to find No, that's just yeah. I let's pretend that that was good. Oh, well done. That was really good. Right, one more scandal you for you. You've done a little wordplay. Like, the only thing taxing is my face because now oh. it looks a bit like a disgrace. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Um, right, last one for you. Um, you are, were in a very public um, relationship with a beloved influencer and you cheated on them. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you may have heard I've cheated on Bay. But I just have. <laughs> it just wasn't working out, I'm sorry to say. That relationship was destined to go. No, no on the rocks. No, no, no that was, oh, that's really bad. That's really oh. upsetting. What was the oh. accusation that I just that cheated, you on? cheated on an influencer? Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, relationships online are just quite hard. Um, my heart has been severely scarred. Oh. You only know what's on the face of it. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't mean to get in caught. actuality. She was full of shit. Oh. It's all your fault. I'm not that wrong. <gasps> oh. And actually, you do quite pong. Oh my and god! You, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep going. And guess what? And yes, I might be a bit of a cheat, but let me get started on your feet. Oh. Those things too, they're really bad. Yeah. And and, actually, and, you're just quite fat. And, and actually, fuck your dad. Yeah, also fuck your father, because yeah. he was just a bit of a bother. Yeah. Whenever we went Christmas shopping, he would just point out that you're whopping, which yeah. you are, you fat old shit. You... <laughs> I, when I looked at you, I'd get a sore tum. Also, I fingered your mum. Yeah. That doesn't really fit the vibe. Oh, okay. I um, thought that's where we were going. Anyway, well done. Round of applause. That was very good, I think. That was very good. Um, see, Colleen, 
next time you touch a kid inappropriately, I mean, allegedly, I don't know what's going on there. Um, contact us, we'll help you write your next yeah. song. I think that that would be a really good um, a business venture for you. Do you reckon that she had AdSense on that video? Should we check? Um, I don't know. I hope that she at least got a bit of money from it because imagine if an ad popped up halfway through. My name's Colleen, also Bollinger. My team said Balling, that they were... Wait, you did not just say Bollinger. Fucking wait for the rhyme, my right, guy. Sorry, I'm ready. Jeez, my name's Colleen, also Bollinger. My team did say that they should stalling her. My team were hoping I was stalling her. No, that was... No, nah, yeah, it's all right. We can just leave that there. Anyway, should we do our actual job? Yeah. Now that you've just disgraced yourself and your entire bloodline. Yeah, let's do it. Brilliant, because I can hear the phone ringing. Ring, ring, baby. That's crazy. Do you want to pick it up? Yeah, I'll go on then. Absolutely. Do it. Yeah. I might pour myself some prime. <laughs> oh, all right. Hi, Max and George. Hi. So, it's not really a problem that I have, but I've been dating this boy for oh, probably man. about four weeks now. And, um... He has quite severe ADHD and he's really aggressive towards me. Like, I only notice it in, like, well, recently, but he always picks me up. He's, he's thrown me in, a, like, a canal before. <laughs> he's thrown me in, like, like holly bush, like a holly bush. And, like, I've told him holly multiple bush. times, like, he's not trying to be, like, abusive. He just thinks it's funny and he can't help it. But I don't really know what to do because I don't want to break up with him over it. Stay with him, then. Wow. Um, I say just hire a fat suit. <laughs> Are you going to finish that? Hmm? Are you going to finish that sentence or is that... Can't get hurt again by being thrown around if you're in a fat suit, can you? I mean, Probably. You fucking flung someone off a building. Well, yeah, he's not. He's not. Uh, he threw her in a canal. Right. He's joking. H I you would drown, but if you were thrown into a canal and you're wearing a fat suit. No, like the big sumo wrestler ones. Oh, so a sumo wrestler suit, not a fat suit. Oh, fucking An actual up. fat suit would grow literally up, make them Legley drown. Was out of vodka. <sighs> Oh. Yeah, scaredy, <laughs> scaredy, weirdy. That's Max Belegdy. I mean, I um, one of my exes had severe ADHD. And he personally didn't throw me into a canal, thank God, because I'm a very weak swimmer. Um, but it, I think that that was one of the reasons why, like, we ended up... Oh, I don't want to say this in case he watches, because that's rude. But our, um, shall I say, sex life was severely impacted by his ADHD. Fucking hell. Can we all just wait? George, George isn't getting enough attention. Sorry. Can everyone... Can we just zoom in on George for a second? He really... How big is that mug? Why is it still going? Oh, my God. Did you call me? Shut the fuck up. That was no, so annoying. My ex-boyfriend had... Um, in fact, I don't even want to say that because I don't want him to know. Oh, but he already knows, doesn't he? I hate it here. <sighs> I hate it. Thank you, KSI and Logan. Carry on. He had, bless him, very severe ADHD. Yeah. And we would be like kissing each other in bed. What, what is ADHD? Adult diaper baby lover. <laughs> no, that's ABDL. Adult baby diaper lover. Yeah. ADHD stands for attention deficit hyperactive disorder. I remember. So... um it basically just means, oh, look at you, you're so fucking annoying. So I know exactly what you're doing. You, oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> it basically, oh, gosh. It basically means that people can't, oh my God. I know what it means. I was just setting up for a joke. I know. I got it. <laughs> What's this? Whoa. Shut the fuck up. I really like that pin. I saw it before and I just had to point it out. What, the gay one? Yes. Right. Happy Pride, everybody. Attention deficit human uh, hyperactive disorder. Human hyperactive ADHD. <laughs> yeah. He, um, we would literally be like kissing each other in bed. Oof. And if like a blanket was like, or he didn't like the texture of like the bedding, mm. he would freak out and be like, oh, can't concentrate. It's like everything at all times would be a distraction. If like yeah. there was a sound happening or like if the air conditioning did so, like everything. So, I mean, I totally get it, love. Personally, I was never thrown in a canal. No, that's And I that's imagine that's severe. quite traumatic, yeah. Can you blame that on ADHD? I... Yeah? Okay, then, you can. Um, um, 
Wow. Yeah, I guess let him know that you, know, you don't if, like if you, it. Like, or just stand on the right side of him. If the canal's on the left, yeah. stand on the right. It just always travel with a or third party. Or does it get better momentum then? Yeah, maybe. Flings you across the other side of the canal. What's it called? Hammer throw. Uh, yeah. Yeah, could mm. be that sort of situation. Um, do you know in sports day in well, school? Actually, if if I feel like if so, sorry, I was if somebody I feel like if somebody was gonna do that to you and to me, yeah, specifically, and you just went, okay. no, they yeah. go. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. Yes. Switch it up. If you're doing the ah! no, no, that's what I did when someone tried to mug me. I what? shouted. I went, "Get the fuck away from me!" Like that, and they yeah. swung to hit me. Um, and they were holding a bottle of vodka. I remember you telling me yeah. this story. They were holding a bottle of vodka, and um, I grabbed it out of their hand. They swung to hit me, and I dodged it. Um, I grabbed this little bottle of vodka out of their hand and I swung to hit them with it over their head and I looked back immediately after and I was like, what if I killed that man? If I hit him with a bottle of vodka, that could have like hurt him a lot. Yeah, he would have been smirned off. He would have. <laughs> he would have. And I woke up the next morning and my ear was purple. because when have I been a spirit. So much better. Oh. Okay. Carry on. I like smell off as well. Uh, my ear was purple because when I dodged it, I thought that I dodged it, but he'd actually hit my ear and bruised my ear. <laughs> so for about a week, I had one purple ear. <laughs> How weird is that? That is so funny. <laughs> Isn't it? Someone just punching your ear. <laughs> that is hilarious. It's so funny. But yeah, something came over me and I just entirely changed everything about me. And I was like, get the fuck away. And he was terrified. Hmm. So maybe try that type tech. tech. But like that. Try that tactic. Tactic. Um, Try that tactic. Tactic. And even though I think that ADHD comes with a lot of compulsive like behaviors, but mm. maybe if you sit him down and say, right, listen, I get it. And I understand why you do it, but please just try your best. Maybe there is something in him that will be able to try and stop it. I mean, there's Medicare. Mm. We're not doctors, but I believe you no. can go on ADHD medication. Just give him a ball to play with. Um. <laughs> yeah, fidget spinners. Have you tried fidget spinners? Give I've it a got go. a fidget spinner. Have you? I found it in my bag the other day. Do you remember how popular they and were? I've been spinning ever since. And then they just like, they fell off. They fell off real bad. Mm. Fidget spinners. Fidget spinners, where you at, bro? That's what I want to know. Anyway, um, I think that's great advice. I've actually just had an email come in. Have you? That's crazy, yeah. that is. I know, I'm really... That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, no, no, my ex, you're just my Y. Yeah. Didn't realise that was Katie Baser singing it. Or is it not? Is it? She was singing it at a festival the other day. That is... Surely... Is it really? Wait, let me find it. Oh my God, it is. Yeah. Go on then, Katie Big Baser. Big ups, Kate. I had no idea that she sung that. George, what the fuck is this? Just think, right, yeah, you can read that because I'm not reading that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It, yeah. was, it was quite a good one. Right, good. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hi, George and Max. Hi. Please keep this. This is a bit of a crazy one, but bear with me. Uh, before, before, before I begin, a little bit of background info is that the boy I will be referencing in the email is diabetic and would often pass out if his blood sugars became too low. Okay. So we met a few times and he asked me to come round to his one evening. So I go over, and we start getting a little, little frisky, favourite rapper of mine that guy. Mm. For reference, we shagged a few times before this yeah. and he was really into some crazy things. Ooh. Like you. <laughs> it's anonymous, so nobody knows who it is. Yeah. However, I was gobsmacked. <laughs> Bloody hell, he does like crazy things. When he went into the went to his rucksack and presented me with bondage, to my surprise, Ooh. I decided, "Fuck it, I'll give it a go." So he commenced his work, and within ten minutes, I was tied against the door. Ropes spread like Patrick the Starfish. <gasps> <gasps> oh, what was that? That was, that was Patrick the Starfish. Was it? Yeah. I don't recall him doing that. Yeah, you don't remember that? That made me really uncomfortable. Yeah. That's terrified me actually. So this is where the diabetic part gets important. Oh my don't god! Call me a diabetic part. He's your boyfriend. <gasps> I noticed after a further few minutes, he went a slightly grey colour. Wait, 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 wait. If this is about to become a story that she is tied to a wall and he passes out, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I noticed after a further few minutes, he went a slightly grey colour, and next thing I know, he was on the floor and wasn't responding to my worried calling. I worried, had the taste, I, wor I worried, had the taste of my puss just killed this man? <laughs> 
<laughs> Max Austin Moore is the same thing. <gasps> then I remember he is diabetic. At this stage, I really panic as I cannot get myself untied as I still resemble Patrick the Starfish. No. I see my phone sitting on the floor near my, nearby my locker and shout, Hey Siri, I can't say that. I can't say that. I'll say it so my Siri doesn't hear. Oh, yeah. Hey Siri, call 999. <gasps> Actually, if I whisper it, that makes it more like it wants to yeah. bring it. <laughs> um, from here, I asked for the ambulance service and explained the situation about his health. <gasps> they asked for the typical things like name and address, which I gave and advised they were so, which I gave and advised they were sending an ambulance out and calling his next of kin on the chance they could get there quicker than him, <sighs> than than them to give him his insulin injections. No. That's when the shock hit me. I had been forgetting that I was tied against the wall, legs spread, and titties on display. <sighs> In that moment, I accepted my fate and realized it was either going to be his mum or the ambulance service that would find me in such position. Oh, <laughs> what felt like eternity passed and I hear a rustle downstairs, then I'm running up the stairs when his mum bursts the door open that I'm attached to to help her lifeless naked son on the floor. <laughs> then she noticed me. It's safe to say we both wanted the ground to eat us up. She injected her son and got him into the recovery position and began to help untie me. Left wrist first, right wrist, then onto the ankles. Oh she got me his blanket and we waited on the ambulance arriving. One really can't get into the details of the ambulance waiting because the trauma affected me too much. Thinking of the awkward silence as she asked me if I had a good day. Oh my God. Fast forward three weeks and we have still been talking. He messaged me today saying his mum wanted me to come around for a Sunday pork <gasps> dinner. Ooh, not done with the porking yet. So Max and George, my dilemma is, should I go for the Sunday pork? <laughs> Bloody hell, are we talking dinner still? Oh my God. Or should knowing his mum has seen... His mum has seen my pork rolls be enough to end this situation. Ship. P.S. Uh, just something about fancy me. I. That is possibly the best dilemma we've had. Uh, I can't ever speak. That is one of the best things that we've ever had sent into this podcast, and the weirdest things that I'm so upset. <laughs> and I mean, I am flabbergasted. <laughs> What do you do? What the fuck is going on in here on this day? <laughs> it's the fact that she was tied to the door. Tied? <laughs> so, so mum opens the door, she flings around. <laughs> what the fuck? You just know she's sorting the sun out and then turns around and there's just a woman naked. Imagine. Tied. <laughs> I'm so sorry, miss. Um, lovely to meet you. Your son was just eating my pussy and he collapsed. I'm so sorry I'm currently tied to his bedroom oh, door. Oh, God. What a way to meet the parents. I can't, I don't even, I can't do this anymore. Who would you have preferred to turn up, the ambulance or the mum? Ambulance, are you taking the piss? I, if my boyfriend's mum saw me naked, tied to a door, I would have to break up with her or just never see her again. I would have to never see her again. You could say it was a play on words. He was just saying that he adores me. Oh my God. And then, She'll be like, oh, that's cute, actually. I'll just forget the image of your cock. Oh, my gosh. And many a person have told you that before. <sighs> we need to move on immediately. That was just terrifying. That was, I, yeah, I don't know. I'd say, at this point, if the mum's saying, oh, come over for a Sunday pork, uh, <laughs> don't read too much into <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, what if but, she's, get, you, what if you walk in and she's tied up against the wall? <laughs> the whole family's there, <laughs> all tied on the wall. <laughs> oh, my God. We're like, we just couldn't what afford a great a idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh I think God. if the if the mum's inviting you over, she clearly is like ah, she's seen the yeah, she's seen it before. Yeah, she's like ah, you know. This so the mum being the person to invite you over means that you can go have a laugh about it, I reckon, and yeah. then carry on with your lives. Goodness me! I need to move on right now. I'm very uncomfortable. Can you hear the phone ring? Feel like I haven't done that in a while. Oh bloody hell! <laughs> I'm to <clears throat> George. And if there's a guest, I am crying, but that doesn't matter. So oh. my dilemma is to do with why I'm crying. Oh. Well, yeah. But do you ever have that feeling when you, like, watch the world's saddest show and then you just can't help but cry? Oh. And I've been crying for, like, three hours. <laughs> I can't stop crying. Jeez. Uh... <laughs> Okay, anyways, that's it. That's <laughs> I don't the know, I have to stop crying. Wow, I mean, uh, that, was, <laughs> that was less of a, a dilemma, more of just a, a, a literal for help. call for help. Yeah. I mean, what what uh, what this, show was it? She didn't even say what show it was. Or was is it this literally episode a sponsored by BetterHelp? Because it should be. <laughs> <laughs> was was the show literally called? 
the most upsetting show ever. <laughs> if, in which case, it. what do you expect, man? Yeah. You, you, brought, you did that to yourself, look. Three hours later, by the way, you're no longer crying about the show. There's no. something, something's afoot. Yeah. Um, side note, though, the only thing that has ever properly like made me fully sob is Titanic, and then that made me think about the Titanic submarine thing. Crazy. We, we've not even spoken about this. From a Titanic this. sub to a Titanic sub. Yes. We've actually not spoke about this. What a wild time. Would you get in the Titanic submarine if you had the money to like spare? I don't really see the point. See? <laughs> No, me neither. Like, I don't really care. Like, if you go down there, it is literally just going to be a boat with some coral on yeah, it. Yeah, like, I don't I don't care to see it. And also, they could just see it through a TV screen. Boring. Mm. Live stream it. Send the submarine down there with nobody in it and do a quick live stream. Like, I, I can understand why... Because I have you been to, like, shipwrecks that are just sort of scuba diving distance? Like, you just had a little snorkel mask on and you can, like... I want you so, to just guess whether you think in my life I've been scuba diving. Not scuba to a diving, shipwreck. snorkeling. I just want to. I just want to snorkel it. I, do, do you know what? Guess. Okay, I'm just gonna just refresh everyone's mind. I've had such a big week. I'm traveling all over the place. Oh god, I've been meeting so many people, traveling this way and that way. It's only been two weeks since we last recorded a podcast, but I've been everywhere, and now he's spinning it on. Do you think that I've ever done anything? I'm I'm just a little classic northerner. I'm just a little old Max Belegdi. Nothing's changed about Do me. Do you think that I'm the sort of person that is going to go scuba dive? Oh, uncultured. No, yeah. I once went snorkeling in Tenerife and I had a panic attack as soon as I got into the water and right. had to be put onto the boat nearly unconscious. Mm. Backstory on me. I'm not messing with no ocean. I'm not going deep sea diving. I'm not going on a boat, <laughs> full stop. Me. There are several things in that ocean. Ocean. Osh- Sorry, when it says, when are you Jamaican? I don't know what happened then. <laughs> there are several things in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't want any, I don't even, but there's so much, oh my gosh, we don't know what's down there. We don't, I don't want, I don't care to know. That's the worst bit. They do know what's down there. The Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> They're not even going to find out. No. Why do we even... I don't need to be there. Because guarantee, when they, when they went it. into the little like, information office, you know, when you walk in, you're like, oh, just one for the Titanic sub, is it? And you're like, yeah, what sort of thing will I see? They just show you the pictures here. Yeah. And it's just a picture of the Titanic on the oh. bottom of the floor. And you go, oh, and you get down there, and you go, oh, yeah, that is literally what it is. That's- I can't cope. I actually can't cope. I got so much, um, I want to say backlash. I made a joke saying that um, this was before I knew that it had been confirmed as like exploded. I made a video like, guys, has anybody checked on the orcas? Like they could have like made a master plan or something. Oh, and then they died. And then like two hours later, they announced that they were dead. I oh. was I was in New York. Oh my gosh, that, another story. Tell you what that is. That's orkies. Awkward. <laughs> it was quite awkward. People. <laughs> Did you only just get the? No, I said it. I thought it was good. Awkward. Yeah, that's why I said that's orkies. I know. Orca. Yes. So why we're they're... on the same wavelength here. We're not the same wave. wave wave nice yeah um i felt like you were claiming my joke off me that i said it was really confusing no i just liked it people were like how dare you disrespect the dead and i was like say that to every other person in the entire world who's currently making a joke out of it yes i took the video down because i was like to be fair they are pretty much i mean the dead so that's fair but i was also like shut up anyway i nearly got scammed out of 40 grand oh hell yeah in new york i told you this didn't i did i tell you it was quite an expensive butt plug. <laughs> oh my God, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, Max, diamond it? encrusted? Did you manage I'll to shave. get it out? Huh? <laughs> Did you manage to get it out or? Uh, no. Are you just working around it? That's why I got stopped at customs. Right, yeah. It's all right. It happens to the best of us. Um, isn't it mad how many people end up in like hospital with like Barbie dolls stuck up their ass? What were you? What, uh, what do you want? It just happens quite often, doesn't it? When you see stuff on the internet. Well, when you go in to get yours taken out, they go, "This is the seventh this week." And like, God, <laughs> yeah, that, that's a lot, isn't it? No, wow. people are fully like so ashamed of openly like playing with their anus that they will, in the dark of night, shove an action man up <laughs> there and get Batman it stuck. It's the action wild. into action man. 
I like it. Or a Batman, Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. That's that's crazy. It, it that is literally the joke that I just made. Is it? Oh, yep. I didn't hear you. Um, <laughs> wild. But anyway, me and Andrew um, nearly got scammed out of 40 grand. Nice. That rhymed. We. And how many action men did you have up your ass? At this <laughs> 12. <time>? Nice. <laughs> oh, I keep slamming this. I keep... Did a whole football team up your ass? Yes, I did. And an extra man. Oh, oh, just, yeah. just in case. Yeah. Um, always does good to have an extra reserve. man up his ass. Um, and... <laughs> Yeah, so our solicitor, so me and Andrew, my boyfriend, are in the process of buying a house. Very fun, very exciting. Nice. Any furniture companies, please get in touch because furniture is expensive. And I would like some. Anyway, um, and our solicitor that we've been working with since the beginning yeah. emails us as we're about to take off on the plane to New York. We're literally sat on the plane. I've get- just had an action man up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Close. <laughs> they said, hey, just let you know, everything's gone through. Everything's going fine. Um, would you please just? Oh, I ate the action man earlier, and it's come out. Everything's gone through absolutely <laughs> oh. fine. <laughs> um, would you please just send the deposit of forty thousand pounds? And I was thinking, I don't think that our house deposit is forty thousand pounds. But I clicked on the email; it was our solicitor. Mm-hmm. The only thing that brought up a red flag, they put the comma in the wrong place of the forty thousand, so they put four hundred comma two zeros. Wow! And I was like, if you were a solicitor telling me I needed to send you forty grand. You would be very specific. So I was like panicking because they said it needs to be done within the next few hours. Yeah. We're about to get on a plane. Mm -hmm. I text my mum saying, what do I do? Is this normal? I sent it to my sister as well. My sister goes, yeah, that's fine. Like, just trust them. It's fine. Like, it's your solicitor at the end of the day, blah, blah, blah. My mum goes, wait till you get to New York and just call them to double check. Get to New York, land, wake up the next morning. I'm like, so sorry, um, but we've just been on a flight. And they were like, no problem. As long as you do it today, everything's fine. Um, I said, can I just please call you just to verify that they are the right bank details, that everything, like blah, blah, blah. They said, um, the phone lines at our company are currently down. Bear in mind, this is a huge solicitors in the UK. So I was like, that's a bit rogue for the, all of their phone lines to be down. Yeah. But this guy says, don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll just call you myself. A random mobile number rings me. And we have spoken to our solicitor on the phone and we know that it's a woman. Yeah. This guy says, hello, it's Paul. Um, yeah, just to Is let that you know. the accent that, you, that he had? No, that's my accent. Um, like they were like, hello, it's are you, Paul. Are you allowed to do the accent? I'm not allowed had? to do the accent. I'm not going to do the accent. So let's just pretend that they sounded like this. <laughs> hello, it's Paul. Um, uh which is the name of our solicitor. He is not in today, um, so I'm his personal assistant and I'm going to be taking over. So if you could just please send the £40,000 to whatever. And I said, he? I thought Anna was a woman. And he was like, oh, um, yeah, if you could just please send the money. Sorry, uh, blah, blah, blah. I said, we just nearly got scammed out of £40,000 called the fraud people. This dumb fuck called with their actual mobile number, gave me their bank details. So they're such, so easily traceable right now. <laughs> Santander have probably got them in prison already. If you are watching Paul, get fucked. Damn. I hope you're in jail, Paul. What was the last thing that we had? Um, Crying. Sort yourself out, love. Have, yeah. you mani- have you thought about maybe getting an Apple Watch because they help with your mental well-being? Shit. Um, I'd say... Don't watch sad programs. Yeah. Or if you do, don't care as much as you do right now. Do you do you <laughs> do you cry often at like um, films and stuff? I haven't cried in a long time, like worryingly oh, long time. That's weird. I guess it's not weird, it just means your life's good. But also No, I don't know. I, I, I No, it's bad. I just don't know. No, cry no, it is. It. It's it's bad. No, actually I I don't think it is good to have not cried in ages, but No, definitely not. I cry at like things a lot on the internet but i feel like i may cry soon okay um have you got one scheduled or are you just <laughs> I've got one booked in and my mission is to make you cry on this podcast at one point yeah oh my god how could i do that well you're not gonna be doing it by being funny <laughs> oh do you have any like dead relatives that are important to you well he's gonna wave a picture of them on my face are you get a hologram oh he's not here anymore <laughs> <laughs> that make you sad you're, does it you're gonna come in with a little mask of them on <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm George's granddad. <laughs> that would be very distasteful, actually, and I wouldn't do such a thing. Anyway, um, we spoke about such positive things today. Oh, have we got more to do, haven't we? Yeah, but I think we've got one yeah, more email. Over an, over an hour, right? We'll do one more email because <clears throat> I've just had one come in. Weirdly, right, George, I've just sent it to you. Can you just send it to print, please? Yeah. 
Thanks. Thank you. That's really good. Hello, Max and George. A bit of a long one. Sorry. Well, it can't be as long as uh, Big Batty Gal sellotape to the wall, can it? And mum oh. comes in and s- stabs the EpiPen. Didn't anyway. say anything about the Batty. Um, I was just assuming. Um, a bit of a long one. Sorry. So basically, I was at my best friend's birthday sleepover about a week ago. Yes. And there were four people there, including a girl that I don't really like. If I'm honest, I only tolerate her because she lets me use her vape, which is where it starts. Basically, this girl is a massive nick addict. That means nicotine, I imagine. And I accidentally broke her vape when I thought, this person can't read, write, or spell. Just put it out there. <laughs> well, it when I threw it, that we've given you to read it. Yeah. Um, and I accidentally broke, broke her vape when I threw it to her. I felt really bad and her attitude towards me instantly switched. She bossed me around and was genuinely horrible to me. And when I fell asleep, she threatened to chuck the fruit salad we had all over me. And she (laughs) ate all of my chocolate bars I brought for me because I hadn't eaten them that day. She also started kicking my friend, who is a male, who also stayed round because they spoke while she was on call to her mum. I'm so sorry. English lessons, you need to go sorry. to them. That was that's such a funny way to retaliate. <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna throw, throw a fruit salad on you, <laughs> and I'm gonna eat chocolate. <laughs> I have a feeling that this person might be quite young, in which case they should not be vaping. Anyway, um, doesn't need, doesn't matter. You don't need to be young to not vape. Just don't vape. Yes. Why are you vaping? Literally. Oh my gosh, I'm very passionate about this, and I've recently convinced Andrew to fully quit. And he's currently having a vape that has no nicotine in it. So it's just like water vapor. Mm. Um, and he's doing fine. So I encourage you to do it, honestly. They don't know the long-term it's effects of vaping. It's absolutely crazy how many people just go like, oh, it's vape now. And we, it's it's like when we, our parents were younger, with, when smoking came out. Yeah. And we don't know the long-term effects of it. Hey guys, new smoking's just dropped. Let's all get involved. No, Literally, no. Work. Let's not do it. And it's targeted towards children. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Do Whoa, just just because it's, it's a little touchy subject doesn't mean you need to make it all scary. Oh. <laughs> it's targeted towards children. <laughs> oh my God. I need to read this. This person has written this so poorly. Well, we don't need to read the rest of it. We're just... Uh, no, I don't get it though. I think vaping. that there's a thing though. Um, who also stayed around because they spoke while she was on the call to her mum. Just asked for someone to pass them their phone. I just wanted to know if I'm in the wrong. Bitch, I don't know if you're in the wrong because I don't know what's happening because you can't fucking write. <laughs> what the hell was that? Literally. Where did Max Belegni go? <laughs> Bitch, I don't know if you're in the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so frustrated with this person. She also threatened to kill any vape that I have. What? You can't kill a... What are you talking about, you stupid bitch? I'm on her <laughs> side. Okay. <laughs> Um, she didn't like me to begin with, but now she's being overly friendly and always asking if I had a vape. I don't know, right, what to do, to be honest, and just wanted some advice. Love, Charlie, the vape breaker. Well, Charlie, you should reiterate that you cannot read or write before sending in something. I know that would be difficult to do whilst um, writing, but Jesus Christ, everybody... Check your grammar before you send something. Yeah. This is an email. You've got to read over this and think, will they be able to read this out successfully without any pauses or confusion? I might have been able to. Honestly, George, these sentences didn't make sense. Most of what I said wasn't even written here because I was just trying to make it make sense. <laughs> Charlie, this vape and this person is the least of your issues. Okay. We need to get, I mean, something needs to happen there and your English teacher needs to get sacked. Right, Max. Right. What is your thoughts on vaping? Go. I am sick to death of it. My boyfriend, when I met him, he lied to me that he smoked. That for me was a big red no-no. I had it on my Hinge profile. Big red no-no. And he said, I think on his Hinge profile, that he used to smoke. And about three dates in, he got out these cigarettes and I already very much liked him by that point. And I was like, are you taking the piss? And he was like, oh, I'm like quitting, um, blah, blah, blah. And it infuriated me so much when he would like go out into my back garden and like have a cigarette. It would make, and we couldn't kiss after it because I would make yeah. him brush his teeth, mouthwash. He has a beard, so he had to like wash his face before I'd even let him come near me. So then he started to vape because. Which way you spelling? Don't worry. About it. Awful. Um, 
Because then, uh, then he started to vape because he was like, it doesn't smell as bad. It's not as bad for you, blah, blah, blah. Which I was like, fair enough. But yeah. the issue with vaping is that you could do it anywhere, anytime, mm. in public, inside places. So people are literally- <sighs> Where, Where's he doing it inside? You don't want to know, love. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Um, God. People are literally going through like a vape pen a day. Yeah. Which is like 60 cigarettes. That is wild. And they're targeted towards children, like the packaging. They're like cute, fruity flavors. People are now, I see on my For You page all the time, people that end up in hospital because having that much nicotine increases your heart rate to mm. like so, so vastly that it's not safe. It's wild how normalized it is. Like I, don't, I don't understand where it all like came from. It came from the fact that but where, why is it, it became just cool thing? because it's now like- Because I remember back in the day, my my mates at school always used they had before it was like the disposable ones they'd the have the one that's fucking, like it's like a car battery yes. that you just stick something on top of mm, I remember and then it's those. got like a little screen on it tells you how many it looked like, like a portable charger yeah and they'd give, go into the bathroom at school and be like we're yeah. cool um, they would generate but like clouds at that point, of everyone, smoke everyone was well. like why are you vaping you it was it was weird it was like yeah. ooh you freak like, and everyone had vaped like all those videos of the vape tournaments would go around oh, the line you know we're like, yeah. like put it on the table and they go like yeah and it becomes some sort of like tornado yeah it was embarrassing it was yeah. like an ick if anything whereas they've managed to market it in a way of like can't go anywhere without my vape and now it's like a whole thing of like lol vape like oh we're all killing ourselves lol when it's like that's not lol that's mm. sad out, that's soul, sad out loud. That's what that is. That's upsetting out loud. Mm. Ooh all. Lol standing for life on over. Life over, lad. Yeah, literally. We do not know the long-term effects of vaping this regularly because we've not lived it yet. Do you know what's scary it's as well? It's gonna come out. What? We don't know the long-term effects of Wi-Fi. Because <gasps> that's just sending out Oh. Beep, boop, 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 Bluetooth. Beep. All over when the place. I've got my we've AirPods. Not, we've not been in long enough to see what the. Oh my gosh. Yeah, AirPods literally in your ears. In my ears. Bluetooth through the brain. For directly. At all Some people sleep with their phone under their pillow. Yeah. At all times. My boyfriend sleeps listening to a podcast. AirPods in, phone under his pillow. He's going to die. Oh, I sleep. He's vaping as well. Oh my God, he's literally dead. I he's sleep with my PlayStation on my head. <laughs> <laughs> if I get too cold, I microwave myself. <laughs> like, what's happening? I I put my bed sheets in the oven. No. I go to bed. Oh my god! This is meant to this oh. computer. What is happening? I've got a USB C that goes into my arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! It just makes you wonder, doesn't it? Like yeah. maybe I shouldn't be putting my feet in the oven. <sighs> Instead of coffee, I just put a portable charger up my ass. <laughs> oh. Good fun. Instead of putting coffee How long up do you reckon ass? it is until you know, like, somebody gets a portable charger implant where they charge it up overnight and then they just stick their phone on it in the day when it goes out of charge? Already, <gasps> already exists. Not, not in the exact same capacity, but my sister, long story short, medical ship, she had uh, like electrodes put into her spine. And as part of that, she had essentially like a pack built, like it was in her arms, and she would have to wirelessly charge herself every night to power this stimulator that stimulated her, her spine. Wow. And so she had this thing that was about that big inside her, and then she had like a wireless thing that she would that she she would wear like a kind a of like belt yeah. that would have it positioned perfectly. Wow. What? Oh my god. So your sister just used to... She used to charge herself up every... Your, is your sister's a Tesla? Yes. <laughs> yes, confirmed. Exactly. Confirmed. I was in a restaurant in New York and um, the new CEO of Apple was downstairs, Tim Cook. And we went was to the bathroom the and I was like... I was like, oh, <laughs> can I have the salad please, Tim? Um, I didn't order a salad. You went downstairs downstairs. and you found out it wasn't Tim. Oh. <laughs> Do you know, I've actually started eating salads recently. Have you? The ones from Nando's. I assume very recently. <laughs> Carry on. The ones from Nando's are actually really nice. I've, I've been contemplating getting a Nando's one. Oh my God. The rainbow one. Yeah. Hashtag pride. Very good and very filling. 
Very good, 600 very nice. calories. <laughs> Really nice. Very good. Very nice. Very oh, nice. Gosh. Sorry, I think I'll get there because one of us has hit puberty, baby. Yeah. Right, I think that that's a good place to stop. You're at. a hairy man, by the way. Oh, all right. I realised oh. this um, when you whipped it out, but... Oh. Mac, Mac, Max, I don't think people realise Max is hairy. He, he chooses to be shaven. Guys, look at the material. Can we please... No. Can you please Whatever you're go, about to say, go like absolutely two? Absolutely not. Can you please just like get your no? Can you please just go like two weeks without shaving? No, I have removal cream. Please, minimum how much a week. for like charity? If what, if, if you people can't stop, grow your body hair for charity. Can of course you? you fucking can. No, you, just, you can't. If you just, of course you can. You could just be like, oh guys, I'm gonna start growing my body hair. If you if you keep if you keep giving me money, I keep oh, I'll keep doing I it. I won't even be able to look at myself. Like when I tell you, my whole stomach will be hairy everything funny no. so funny and because i've like oh, shaved this will get it, you hooked what the views it'll do mental views people would pay to not see no my they body. wouldn't Are they would joking? fucking love that to see be, that that would have to go on like comment down web. below comment down below how much money you would genuinely send oh my God. if max was like oh i'll put a gofundme for insert charity name Absolutely and i'll just not. grow my hair no, not happening. That would be so funny. Jesus. If you just Christ. said, I'm not going to cut anything for a month, grow your hat out, you have fucking. Oh my God, my hair on my head as well. That's awful. A month. Oh my God, my beard. If I was, if it was a month, that would be hell. See, there is more incentive. Oh my God, I didn't shave it for one day and I bumped into this girl outside my flat and she was like, Oh, daddy. And it was on Father's Day, so I was like, Happy Father's Day, and I felt a bit sick afterwards. <laughs> so I was like, Yeah, I know. That's, that's really weird. Yeah. My chin um, hairs go ginger. When Even I got COVID, more sen- there's so much incentive here. When I got COVID, I didn't shave for like what? Like five what or month six days. would you be willing to? Do? Winter month, maybe. Isn't it like October or something that you don't shave? Movember. Don't shave like October. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cocktober. <laughs> Don't know about oh. Cocktober, mate. <laughs> Don't but shave my Cocktober. November. Can you do Movember this year? Is that just moustache? Yeah. I can do that. But can you do the Oh my God, I'd it? look like a, a child. I would. I would. I wouldn't suit it. No, but it oh, would, I'd have to dye it so, so it isn't funny. ginger. No, please. Just, oh my God. just. I might do it. Just for, grow it all. I, I would might love do it. that Shall so Shall I do it much. for November? Yeah, do it for Movember. I will do. That's charity, isn't it? Yeah. So you like raise money it's for It's like charity. men's mental health. Right, okay then. Testicular oh, cancer. Yeah, yeah, it's like mental health. We'll do it for all of them. Cancer, all of them. That's a good idea. Also, get your prostate checked. By me! Right. And if it- you enjoyed this episode... <laughs> If you enjoyed this episode <laughs> and you are watching, please give us a like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you get oh notified every time God. we post. If you're listening, give us a five-star rating, download us, and do all of that good stuff. Yeah. And if you want to submit a little dilemma, how do they do that, Maxine? Then please do so via our email with good grammar, punctuation, spelling, all of that, please, to the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com or send in a voice note to our Instagram at the useless hotline pod. Also, I don't know if it'll still be open by the time this out but we are nominated we're not nominated we're trying to be nominated <laughs> for a british podcast award we're I don't going know for is. an oscar we are so please vote for us well, max is <laughs> on the he's british down with po- andrew <laughs> yeah wow hey new boy on the british podcast awards.com website mm, probably something like that you actually have to search the useless hotline to vote for us and then give us a vote please do it thank, thank you. you it probably will be closed by the time that this is out will it all right, All okay right. then. Either, either way, just do it, even well, if they don't allow you anymore. Thank you. And, and until, until next, next time, time, let Max give you a... Oh. Oh, yeah, should we do the handshake? Oh, my God. Right. Guys, until next time... Oh, well, with the audio um, listeners, we're doing a handshake, by the way. Oh, yes, audio listeners. Oh, my God, they missed so much this episode. So much um Oh, you might have to go and watch happened. it on YouTube. Yeah, do... do, do. <gasps> For the audio would have no idea what's happened there. <laughs> George just nearly knocked his mug over. Bye. Love you.